Hey everyone, today I've got your Into the Woods movie review. Rob Marshall directs yet another musical movie since Chicago and it's got fairy tales coming to life on screen. So as far as the story goes, the character stories are interconnected with each other, which I found to be a really nice way of telling the story and because it did have a lot of characters, um, some very familiar characters from stories like Cinderella, uh, Red Riding Hood, um, and Jack and the Beanstalk, so it was really cool to see um, them putting all these characters um, and having one set of characters going on this quest, but then they end up meeting each other uh, just so that they can uh, fight off this evil witch. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it because I'm not a huge fan of musical movies, but I do like some of the singing, some of the music, so it's definitely um, catchy in a way uh, like that. And it definitely had a huge cast. Uh, you've got Anna Kendrick, Emily Blunt, James Corden, Meryl Streep, Johnny Depp, and Chris Pine all coming together. And some of them, I was really impressed by their singing because I didn't know that some of them actually could sing. And I thought, well, maybe um, they're just good at being actors. And you know, they can't actually sing as good as I thought. Now, um, I knew that Anna Kendrick, obviously, who plays Cinderella, uh, she can sing. I mean, if you've seen Pitch Perfect, uh, and there's this other movie coming out where she's singing, so uh, she's definitely a really good choice for the role, um, and I thought that it was really interesting to see uh, what her character was going through and how they were going to change it. And I was so happy that they actually went down the route of how it was going to turn into like a grim fairy tale, but sort of making it more magical in a way um, with that storyline. Because if you guys have seen that story of the grim fairy tale of Cinderella, you know what happened. So um, they sort of like play off on that. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, you've got Emily Blunt and James Corden playing uh, the like... Uh, Baker and his wife uh, who are going on this quest so that they can have a child eventually and then they end up meeting Meryl Streep who plays uh, this witch who was um, in the story of Rapunzel and I thought she was very great and I didn't think that she could sing um, as well as she did and it was really interesting to see uh, her transformation um, and just like how uh, interesting it was uh, to see her playing in this role, and um, so I thought it was really cool. And then, of course, you've got some minor characters. You've got Chris Pine, who plays um, Prince Charming from Cinderella. Basically, I had no idea he could sing. Now, that brother can sing, because really, uh, I didn't think that, that was going to happen. I thought it was just going to be a pretty boy face on screen that everybody's going to just gawk at, but really, uh, he did a pretty interesting job, and so I applaud him for that. Um, and then, obviously, you've got um, Johnny Depp, who played the wolf from Red Riding Hood. Now, I know that he can sing. He was in movies like Sweeney Todd, and uh, I just know that, I mean, he can sing. Like, he knows how to be on screen and have this stage presence and he just really nailed it this time uh, though I didn't really care to see him that much um, like some of the other characters that I really like to see but it was interesting to have him in this movie so it was no surprise that he was at least going to do a decent job in this movie. I thought the singing was good overall and I wouldn't be surprised if this movie won some awards. I know it's up for a Golden Globe for a best musical or comedy, so I definitely think that this should be at least the top choice uh, to win. Um, now, there were some things I definitely did not like about this movie. The comic relief, I know, um, when there were some like random jokey moments, I thought that they just weren't that funny in the long run, and it was still a cute movie overall. So I would say that I didn't have a huge problem with it. It was just I really liked more of the singing and uh, the acting and not much of the comical aspects of it and I thought that they should have just like left it out even though they're trying to appeal to a wider audience which is exactly what they did and I definitely enjoyed myself watching this movie so I would say overall Into the Woods is a pretty great film and it's uh you know 
opened my eyes to liking more musical movies. I mean, I love Les Mis. Like, that was a really good thing, but I don't know if they sang live or not in this movie, but it was still pretty good overall. So I would definitely recommend checking out seeing this movie if you guys haven't, and I would give this four hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of Into the Woods. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.